Hey everyone, we just came out to this natural gas platform in the Gulf of Mexico, right out of Mobile Bay, Alabama. It is awesome fishing this time of year, throughout the whole year on these platforms. So I'm happy that y'all can join me, sit back, relax. My name's Steven with Bama Saltwater. Let's get to fishing. Well, we got a supply vessel coming. Anytime you're fishing around these platforms, you gotta remember ultimately these are for work and for industry and business. So you wanna make sure that you're aware of your surroundings and when these supply boats show up, make sure you're not in the way of them. We came in shore in the bay. That swell picked up a little more than I liked offshore. A bunch of little bait nibblers down there. Oh, there's a good one. Got it. Yes. That's a good fish there. Wow. Really good fish. Come here, you. Uh, yeah, probably going to need it on this one. Yeah, that's a good fish. Look at that. Sheep's head. <laughs> there we go. We went all over the world and all we had to do was go one mile. Malik with the net. Thank you, sir. I'll let you dump it out right here. There we go. Perfect. Thank you, ma'am. Yep. That's a good one. So we just got a nice sheep's head on board. This one's going to go in the cooler. It had to be 12 inches in Alabama and you're allowed 10 per person. So that's a hard fighting fun and delicious eating fish. Let's throw them in the cooler and get back out there. But first I like to show you what I'm using. So I got a drop shot set up. This is Yozuri 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, a one ounce bank sinker on the bottom of it. Come up about a foot to a size two owner K hook. Come up about another foot to a black barrel swivel. Now I am throwing this on a Daiwa BG MQ 3000 with 10 pound braid and a seven and a half foot medium heavy fast action inshore spinning rod. Let's grab a shrimp, a live one that is, and drop back down. Let's look at this shrimp where the horn meets the body and get her back down again. It's about 20 feet deep here with zero foot of visibility. Very muddy water. But these fish don't really care. Oh, I have it. Let's look, see what was stealing my bait. Yeah. A little croaker. These things are very notorious for stealing bait. That's a good bait size croaker for redfish and trout, amberjack and snapper. When they get bigger, they're good to eat. So I've caught one sheep's head, one small croaker, and we got a third shrimp we're dropping down. Shrimp. In Alabama, shrimp is a three syllable word. <laughs> shrimp. <laughs> oh, there's one. Oh, ho, ho. number two. <laughs> that was a good fish there. Gotta keep them away from that structure. Oh, wow, that's a big sheep's head. <laughs> Oh, you, yeah, if you don't mind. That's a big one. Wow. This one's fighting pretty good. Come here, you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, chose to go on this side. <laughs> there we go. Wow, that's a big one. She's full of eggs. I'm probably going to turn her back. That's a good one. If that's fine. Yeah, that's a, that's a stud. Put her on the bogey grip. <laughs> that's an eight, eight, eight pounder. A little bit over eight. Yep. Call nine pound, nine pound sheep's head. <laughs> that's, a, that's a stud. Oh, this is a nine pound sheep's head, 23 inches long. So we're gonna turn her back and hopefully she can get down there and make some more sheep's head for many years to come. That's a stud though. Let's let her go. <laughs> There you go. She swam down. She just had to get oriented. Sweet. <laughs> Let's get out there another one. That was awesome. So we're going to get on another bait. Good old shrimp we picked up from Hooked Up Bait and Tackle. Shrimp is hard to come by this time of year because of the demand, weather windows, where they're shrimping. So if they don't have shrimp, you can get crabs. If not crabs, you can get fresh dead shrimp. Oysters work, barnacles work, any type of crustacean or shellfish. Here goes another shrimp down. Let's see what else we can produce. And I love this drop shot setup because you can feel everything that's happening to your bait down there. It suspends it just off the bottom 
And one of the biggest pluses is it doesn't get hung up in rocks as bad as a Carolina rig does. <laughs> he switched to the drop shot rig and first drop actually caught something. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, well, there he is. That's a, that's a big one. Yeah. That thing's got some funky teeth on him. Oh, I'm getting a bite. Oh, that feels like a little croaker, I think. Oh no, <laughs> I said little croaker in it. That ain't no little croaker. Yep, it's a good one here as well. Oh yeah, he's right here. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna break any rods boat flipping on this one. Thank you, ma'am. Yep. There we go. That's a mutated sheep set right there. He's got like <laughs> something to try to eat him as a little yearling or he's just born like that that's weird looking though i'm gonna let this one go because if he survived that then hopefully he'll continue getting bigger there he goes so we actually got on some oh my gosh I almost just fell in <laughs> so we actually got on some fish see if we can get any more oh ho, oh ho. yeah it is big sheep said wow that's a big one there it is. Yeah, it is. That's a big one. There you go. Should be in perfect position here. What are you doing? I got a fish too. <laughs> look, at us. look at me fighting the troll. Oh, you got one. Oh, I have one too. We're doubled up. We're doubled up. <laughs> Do that trolling motor real quick to the, turn the anchor mode off and put it to the left. <laughs> I'm fighting it. Whoa, I got a pretty fish. I got a red snapper. Uh, turn the prop on. Turn the prop on and turn it that way. That way. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. God, that was uh, that sucker strong. <laughs> I had a daggum fish. You had a good fish. You want this? This very rare red snapper? Yeah, man. Those, I ain't never seen that. <laughs> that pretty little thing, though, ain't it? Yep. Wow, he's cold. Nice little red snapper. I'm gonna let you go, buddy. There you go. Oh, they're stacked good down there. That sucker just almost ripped that bait out of my hand. I think he took my shrimp. There's a big old shrimp right here, everyone. Look at that. Oh, it gets down. Gets down to Sheep's Head Town. I got this one, and I'm not for sure what this is going to be. Oh, wow. It took a while for him to eat that big shrimp. That might be another snapper. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, it's another red snapper. I can't get away from these things, man. That's a keeper, too, if it was in season. A nice red snapper there. They fight a little bit different than the sheep's head do. Sheep's head got that pull. This one actually has a little bit of, like, bite, you know, head shakes. There you go. I have another fish on. I think this is another red. I really do. Wow, that's a big old ground mullet. <laughs> that's a big ground mullet. These are good eating, but I don't ever mess around with them too much. Those are fine eating fish though. There you go, bud. Now we're gonna do a few more drops here and at least we have some fish and we had a good time. Dude, what is this? This is dead weight. It's spinning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a cue to leave. <laughs> Oyster shells. <laughs> With my weight got wedged in. That's interesting. That's gonna be my last drop. My little bank sinker got wedged in there and and uh, pulled it off the bottom. These don't have any meat on them, but that's some oyster shells. Really great reef material for out here. And, oh, and these grow all down here. They grow this barnacle growth and algae and stuff, which provides food for all these fish. But we're gonna let that sucker go and 
<laughs> as if it was alive. Uh, toss that thing back and probably head back to the rail. Alrighty, everyone. It's the next day, and then we got our Bird of Prey tailgate cleaning table. That will be linked down below if you want to pick you one up. They're awesome enough to send one out. And we're going to clean these three sheep's head right here. It's all we kept. We released a bunch. Check out those uh, funky looking teeth on him. <laughs> He's got some small teeth, and these are nice ones. But I'm going to take this seven inch sword flex fillet and fillet one of these out and show you. They're real easy. You just got to be able to get through those scales. So once you can get through the scales, you can open them right up very easy Boom. and then go on the ribs and go all the way down and you can open them up just like any other fish they have a big rib cage so most of your meat's going to be right here so we're going to fillet this off you hear my dogs barking in the background just work your knife along the bones they got a big old backbone and big rib cage other than that they're pretty easy to clean once you can get through the scales Cut that off. Fillet down. Get around that ribs. Because they don't really have any belly meat. Get around that rib cage. There's a nice clean fillet and hardly any wasted meat right there on those bones. See that, that rib cage is giant. I like a little bit longer knife for skinning them. So this is a nine inch and just hold your fingers there my fingers are numb from being in ice the whole time but once you can make a little cut there we go and then take that meat off the skin you have a gorgeous sheep's head fillet it's time to get out some of these pin bones which are in there you can feel them just like that Take those pin bones out and there's our nice sheep's head fillet so i'll do the same thing on the other side clean the rest of these up what a pretty friday afternoon it is you have variety we got all the bird life out today got the laughing gulls the brown pelicans the comorants <laughs> you see why they call them laughing gulls <laughs> but check all that barnacle growth and algae and stuff that's what the fish love eating. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I love sharing the sights, the sounds, and uh, haven't quite figured out how to share the smells yet. <laughs> Good food in the coast. But uh, the, it's just gorgeous out here on the Alabama Gulf Coast. Such a pretty pristine area and great fishing as well. And I like to share all my tips and techniques. Hopefully you can take something away from this video to help you next time you go fishing. I know, especially myself, nobody's too good to learn something new. But we caught some nice sheep's head. And hopefully you can uh, now clean them yourself if you, if you were hesitant before. But all of our partners are down linked in the video description below. There's promo codes underneath each link as well if they offer them and uh, allows you to save some money when you make a purchase through them. But we'll see you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. Smash that subscribe button and share with your friends and family. It's awesome to see the channel grow. Most importantly, and as always, I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. So we'll see you later.